Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This is on how to hide reaction count on Facebook. A few weeks ago, I did um, one on how you could hide your like count on your Instagram account. So I'm going to show you actually how to do that on your Facebook Facebook account too. If I can speak, I'll, I'll tell you how to do it. Um, before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now last week, if you, you'd seen our last video, it was on how to change Chrome performance settings. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link down below. And this one, how to hide reaction count on Facebook, I have the article already written because written, I always write the article. And that link will be down below for you too. Okay. Let's get this started. So I'm going to do this on the website on my computer, and then I'm going to show you how to do it on the Android phone, which is my Android phone. I'm going to show you how to do it on the Facebook app too. I want to give them both to you. So let's get started. We're going to go up to our Facebook account and make sure we're logged in. And I am logged in. So once you're on your Facebook account logged in, you're going to look to the top right and you're looking for your profile right here and you click on that as I bring up a menu and you're looking for settings and privacy. So we're going to click on that. And then you're looking for settings. Pretty straightforward. And then once you get settings, you're going to go to the left menu and you're going to scroll down a little bit. And when you get down to pre preferences, customize your experience on Facebook, you're going to see the top one says reaction preferences. That's what we want. Click on that. And here it is. Um, reaction preferences. Hide number of reactions. On other people's posts, you can hide it. If you turn this on, you won't see the total number of reaction for posts and reels other people cr create, which I find is weird. Why you want to hide it from yourself? I don't know. This one is the one I think is important on your posts and reels. So if you don't want anybody to see other people won't see the total number of reactions for posts and reels you create from feed or your timeline. So this is the one I'd probably turn on if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do it. But you just click it. And there it's turned on. You can turn it off very easily. It automatically saves it. So that's how you do it on the website. I did this on my Windows um, 10 computer. I still have Windows 10. I don't have Windows 11 yet. Actually, I think I did upgrade. I have Windows 11. Woo! But yeah, so that's how you do it on your Facebook website. Now I'm going to jump over to my phone and show you how to do it on the Facebook app. Okay, now I'm on my Motorola Edge Android phone. This is the Facebook app, so I'm going to show you how to do it on that. So Facebook apps right here, just tap it, turn it on. So when it opens up, you're going to look the same way we did the last one. Actually, it's no, mine got updated, so you might have it over here, but actually mine is moved over to this top corner. So tap on the three lines, and it's going to give you this menu, and then you're going to scroll down until you find settings and privacy. Tap on that, and then after you do that, you're going to look for settings up top here, and tap on that. And then once you open that up, it's going to pull this up, and you're just looking for the same area, preferences, and that is right here, but it has an extra thing, but we're looking for the one down below that uh, reaction preferences, tap on that. And it has the same switches. And actually when you do this, it does affect your um, um, the website too. So either one you do it that way. So if I did it on one, let me do this real quick over here. I did it on the website real quick. We'll go back and I think it affects this place too. So if you do this, see it's on now. So it will affect both sides. So if you turned it off here, it will turn it off for your webs uh, for your website itself so this is for your facebook account it's not per device so that's how you can do it on the website and that's how you can do it on your mobile app it's that easy guys how to do this to hide reaction count on your facebook account thanks for watching make sure to check out davescomputertips.com that's where all our articles are and also make sure you subscribe to this channel thanks for watching